cheers for tonight's Sky Sports Elite League A fixture between Oxford and Kings Lynn. Well, Oxford fans, what a cracking meeting it was last week. Did you enjoy it? Are you going to enjoy the meeting tonight? Okay, well, hopefully we'll get plenty of noise behind you later on. It's great to see so many people here in Oxford Stadium supporting Sway in Oxford this year. Well, first of all, though, we like to welcome in our supporters from Kingsley. Anybody travel down to Salvador this evening? Yeah, the band of supporters that have come down to support the Kingsley Knights. But Oxford, are you ready for the roar?
so let's give the cheers once again in Florida. Day two in lane, let's do it for Agro Agro Tour. It's Florida, last one gate of blue, Irish Green.
and 30 blue, line Anderson. So that was an I-1 for the night, which means now I'm 386 to the Jeepers and 12 to the Knights. The time once again, 16.52 seconds. <laughs>
my kicks and standing leg circuit this evening. So here's the program, we're going to be number 5 in white. His running time was 59.49 seconds. Second in blue was Brian Anderson and third in red, Steve Johnston. A share team, 3 points sent to each team, so there's still that 4 point gap with 13 to the Tigers and 17 to the Knights. Time left again, 59.49 seconds. Time left again, 59.49 seconds.
and the purple bash of Speedway that we're seeing. Let's hear it. The race winner, him is Lee Adams. So Lee's coming around here for us. Congratulations to Andrew, the final player in heat number six. But actually, the race winner.
as well. The puts up every Thursday, John Gayser, and the reports are quite
well, but uh, he must be pleased with that. Pink Creek Good Friday count, over 2,000 here on Good Friday. Yeah, when he, when he phones, he always phones after the meeting because he actually watches it on the website because it's updated after every heat. He always phones after the meeting and the four questions he always asks are, were the, are the teams okay, was the racing good, did the weather hold, and what was the crowd like? And that night when I said to him, I don't know the exact number, but I'm sure it's around 2,000, he just, his words were, you're having a laugh, aren't you? And, and I wasn't having a laugh, I was actually astounded at that crowd. I mean, it's brilliant, and the weeks after that's following on, us, the crowds are getting better each time, and I'm really, really, you know, so enthused with the sport, but it's brilliant. And certainly the kids were quick, while the kids are reaching new numbers each and every week. Yeah, I mean, the, the Easter egg week, I think I had 500 free eggs, and they all went. The balloon man called low kicks running out of puff, the cheetah with the lollipops, and yeah, the numbers are going up every week with the kids, and that's the whole thing. We've got to keep the kids coming and keep them entertained and give them a lollipop or a balloon that resembles a sword or whatever. But, you know, it, that, that's the whole key to keep the kids coming through. And, and a quick yes, it's brilliant. Certainly is, and uh, obviously in two weeks' time, next time meeting, Eastbourne, classic encounter, obviously, sadly without Joe Scream, but uh, certainly Martin and Dugard, they'll be back in the lineup and certainly a uh, strong opposition. Yeah, he is. Um, you know, every team's got a strong opposition. Um, but yeah, Martin will be back, and I like Martin, you know, he's a very aggressive rider, but, you know, that's the way it goes, and he was an Oxford favourite, probably still is, so, um, yeah, it will be a tough meeting, but we've proved that we can cope with tough meetings. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, encouraging words from the promoter of Oxford Speedway, sterling work done. Let's hear it for Time allowance. 
Ladies and gentlemen, take him away. Oxford 